Brown. Yeah, that's another of you know, those European browns, the ones that are feeding a lot. And he's moving feeding a lot. lot. He's nymphing. Okay. Yeah. There he goes. Oof. All right. So what are we gonna, what are we going to throw at him? We're gonna. We have a, a right there. We have a, a little caddis just to see the other fly, and behind a very small uh, cripple. We're gonna try and cast. So a little caddis and a little and cripple. A cripple. That's gonna be fishing on the surface like, at the like beginning, a, but like once a it sinks. Pale morning dove yeah. kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. It's yeah. It's like a. It's a it's a um, cripple mayfly. Yeah, it's a mayfly, but it's um. It's gorgeous. Calabates, pretty much. Okay, so you have calabates because the water is yes, slow in yeah, some places. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So well, it's very much at, like the states in terms yeah. of the fishing no, if here. If you look all the, all the water beyond the fish over oh, there, it's came all up very again. calm. Yeah, it's all very calm back there, and that's why the the, 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 the calabates here too is a pretty good thing. There's a spring back in there too. There are all kinds uh -huh. of springs, so it's it's the wood water. He's receiving out, cold water, there. everything. All right, well, let's go after him. Yeah, okay. See what I can do. Let's get a little closer. Okay. Now, the more times I... Oh, he came up yeah, and took another fly. Uh... Come on, Wait, European brown. How big do you think that fish is? It's about 20... Uh, between, somewhere between 18 and 20 inches. I don't mind there. More likely to take that. Oh, no, 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 no. You're speaking Italian to me now. I know, no, I was. I was. Oh. Hard to tell. What's that? Hard to tell what he did there, what he took, or what he looked. Okay. Shoot. Oh, we can't swear on camera. <laughs> take it in, take it in. Oh, he's way in, he's way in. Okay, leave it right there. Oh, you can see the little caddis coming off. You can see just a little tiny cast coming off. So it's, oh. a little, it's actually a little... Uh... What a beautiful fish. Boy, it's just amazing. You just sit there and really kind of uh, the cat and mouse game. Boy, it's just beautiful. Great job. Great job, Niccolo. Let's, see, let's get him in for Oh boy, that is a nice fish. This time I really want to hold this guy. That's why I want him to be I know for experience that this guy looks tired when he comes in here, but he's not. He's going to take off like... Beautiful trip. 
And we should go down a little farther. So that, because this, this, this water's all muddy, too. Yeah. Beautiful fish. He doesn't want to come in. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a one of those salmon. Take a, you know this. Oh. oh. Pulled out. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Let me see what happens. So you can do everything right, you know, no, and then that happens. It doesn't matter. It was everything was fine there, but you couldn't go. Ah. It was a strong fish, though. Thank you. I thought I played him right. No, he was perfect. He was perfect. A lot of shaking of the head, though. A lot of not, a, not an easy fish to, to, to get out with uh, such a fine tippet because you have a. Uh, you can't force him too much, and so you gotta play his game. And I should have tried to get him in a little sooner. Well, the thing is, is uh, it's also like, uh, yeah, to, if in the shallow water, with the tendency he has to go down, he has less room to do stuff. Right. Well, water, but... it's fun to play him. Yeah, yeah. To Strong play, uh, and you know what? It was it was me giving you the high five that yeah, did it. That did it. Never yeah, should do that. <laughs> ever. I should know I that by of, now. I thought of that the same moment you gave it to me. I was like, uh, well, early for it. <laughs> no, well, like, we hooked him. Yeah, we hooked him. We exercised same. him. Yeah. And, uh, and we, uh, well, but, now he's back so, to his spot. To his spot. That was a big fish, though. That White was. shoulders on him. Well. Ah! <laughs> A la trota. A la, how, about, how do you say the one that got away? A la trota escapada. Padilata. Escapada. Padilata. Grazie. Oh, wonderful. Pecorino, which is uh, sheep. Yes. Cheese from sheep. Yeah. Yes. But... We have salami. And all from Chianti. This area, yes, the region of Chianti, yes, yes. and the wine, and the wine is Chianti. This is Pinocchio that it's like uh, like salami, salami with uh, Pinocchio. The sausage, like beige, sausage. Beige, yes. I think it's this sausage. This is a Parma ham. Oh, is that prosciutto? Yes, prosciutto. We have it's, uh, oh, classic, Toscano, wonderful. And this is with mushroom. Uh huh. And so, what, what do we have here? It looks like great pasta. Yes, it's a uh, uh, great pasta with. Uh, Tomato, olives, it's a fresh farm. And did you make this? My mom. Your mother made it. Oh. Well, it was wonderful. So I, can, I, can I take some home with me? Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, the people that come in Italy, they want to try and want to taste uh, all uh, special food that is famous in all the world. And so I share the fly fishing pleasure with uh, the foods and drinks. We, we are in the region of the Chianti, the famous uh, wine. We are in the land of, uh, of the Fiorentina meat and we try, we try to uh, marry it together for give some pleasure to the, to the fly fishermen that come in here in Italy.
right. You know, and the classic thing for me is when you're telling me to go f to fish to certain fish, but because of their coloration. Talk about that. Well, no, that's that's the Puccini trouts. The Puccini trouts are, are are a particular thing of this river, and and they have a uh, uh, it's their trouts that come up uh, come out uh, uh, from a hatchery, uh, in always as eggs, fertilized eggs, but the, it's a it's a mix from uh, the original trout that we have in the Apennines, to a trout that has this uh, genetically modified to have this coloration. Mm -hmm. And it's a, uh, it's a, this, uh, the Puccini, which he's, he's the owner and, and, and fish biologist at this hatchery, is, is, uh, it came out with this genetically colored fish, which is pretty an amazing fish. So the, the Puccini brown trout is a European um, hybrid that has these incredible iridescent uh, uh, splotches, yeah. uh, the, uh, you know, typical of a brown trout, but I've never seen them in that color. Yeah, well I would call it more of a Tuscan hybrid. Tuscan he's, hybrid, he's so it's actually from, really, to, uh, it, it's endemic it's, to this area. Yeah, he's uh, the guy, the hatchery is in Tuscany, the guy made it here, and he's, uh, he's it's, it's the only places you can find them for now is here. And now they're naturally producing. Now they're yeah. naturally producing, right. yes. Right, but they're yeah. introduced yeah. at yeah. some they were point. Introduced, they were introduced, most of them were introduced six years ago, well, mm -hmm. or eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And the river, the fly fishing area that was closed for many years before, and it was like an experimental ground for a lot of for the grayling and this Puccini trout, mm -hmm. and eventually opened when they saw the success in their, their breeding and right. their production and everything. <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful. 
Hey. No, this Thank you. No, this okay, okay, now I can get the slap. <laughs> <laughs> wow, gorgeous. All right. Uh, nice way to end the day. <laughs> Whoa, got a big one. Look, I got him. <laughs> oh, that was great. Puccini brown trout. Tuscany, Tuscany, Italy. I love that. It is just so gorgeous. Wow. Thank you, Niccolo.